Hey friends, it's Allison Simpson with Summit Real Estate and this week's episode of Dear Allie. I've got a great question this week. Dear Allie, we were performing a 1031 tax deferred exchange that spanned over two tax years. The 1031 did not go through and now we're not sure which year we should claim our gain in. Oh my goodness, this is an advanced 1031 <laughs> exchange question. Let me back up just a minute for those of you that might not know exactly what a 1031 tax deferred exchange is. Um, the 1031 is named after the IRS code 1031 and it is a device whereby you can sell one investment property and take the proceeds from that property and invest it into another investment property without paying any capital gains tax. Actually you're not completely getting rid of the capital gains tax you're just deferring them thus the 1031 tax defer exchange name. Um, and there's the kind of the joke about defer, 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 die. That's the only way you can avoid paying your capital gains taxes. So in this question, it sounds like they had a 1031 exchange that was going. And then for some reason, they didn't find the replacement property or the other sale fell through. So they were not able to complete the 1031 in the timely manner that the limits require. So it used to be that you would almost always say people were happy to defer their gain to the following year. So if you actually could have the chance of taking it, the IRS gives you a little bit of flexibility whether you would want to take it in 2021 or 2022. But I will say it's probably a good idea to talk to your tax accountant because the uncertainty around capital gains taxes. It is, we know they're not going down, that's for sure. So you might want to talk to your accountant to find out whether it's better to take, go ahead and take the gain in 2021. Um, anyway, 1031 exchanges, we do a lot of them here in the in resort properties because we have a lot of rentals and they work very, very well up here. Good way to defer your gain if you're ready to sell your ski property and buy a place at the beach. I'd love to chat with you more and give you some more details to see if this strategy might be something that um, might work for you and your family. If you have any questions, just comment below or send your rally a question.